ghosts have invaded New York City, and the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is wreaking havoc. What are you gonna call? Normally, I excitedly recommend the Ghostbusters, but in this case, you might want to call a copy editor. Now is the time to look away if you don't want to know what happens next, because today we're spoiling the ending of Ghostbusters on the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is 23 Endings, the Early Years. Look, you know the story of the Ghostbusters. A bunch of unemployed scientists discover a way to trap otherworldly spirits in a containment unit, which then turns out to be a useful skill when Gozer threatens to destroy New York City. This video game takes the basic premise and has the game driving around the city trying to take up jobs and buy new equipment. Now, if you've played Ghostbusters, then you already know that this has little to do with the movie's plot. There's a reason for that, as David Crane programmed the game before actually seeing the film. As a result, we're introduced to ideas and equipment that wasn't on the big screen, some of which came from Car Wars, an unfinished game that was used as the building blocks for Ghostbusters. Whether or not it managed to capture the story and humor, it does eventually end with a big showdown with Gozer at the top of 55 Central Park West. It's a frustrating fight that leads to this single screen ending. That's right, the developers misspelled congratulations, instead giving us one of the most memorable typos in video game history. To make matters worse, they also misspelled proved, and the wording is all around awkward. It's a mess, but don't blame David Crane. The famed designer behind Pitfall and a boy in his blob may have made the Ghostbusters game, but he's not responsible for the NES port. As you can see here, congratulations was spelled correctly in other versions. But even if Activision had spent a few extra dollars on a copy editor, this still would have been an aggressively bad ending. This is one of the hardest 8-bit games of all time, and this is what I get for my frustration? That's the real crime here. Of course, Ghostbusters wasn't the only old-school game to give us a one-screen congratulations ending. You also saw the same thing with games like 1942, Genghis Khan, P.O.W., NARC, and even F-Zero. And let's be honest, that's just scratching the surface. For many developers of 1980s action games, the endings weren't a priority. In the case of Ghostbusters, neither was proper grammar. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of 23 Endings, The Early Years. So here's the question of the day. What is the worst video game ending you've ever seen? This Ghostbuster spelling error is pretty terrible, but I'm sure there are others that have pissed you off even more. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. I'm currently hard at work on a bunch of reviews, as well as new episodes of 23 Endings, which is gonna run every weekday between now and Christmas. I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.